Hello and welcome to Minicoon Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to partition your C drive or any other drive on your PC without formatting it. Okay. So basically, if I should click on my Windows Explorer right here and then I click on this PC, you would notice that I only have one drive on my PC currently, which is the C drive. And my whole hard disk is about one terabyte so this is a whole lot of space and i would like to partition it into maybe into two at least so that i would have c and d drive but like i said that if you follow these steps and you are even interested in let's say partitioning your d or e drive it's still gonna work it's not just all about partitioning c drive in my case, I got a new PC and I have, I'm obliged to partition the hard disk by myself because it, the, the PC, you know, as usual, when you get a new PC, you only have the C drive. So I have to partition so that I can have, um, I mean, a space for my data and then allow the windows to, I mean, to, to, to have some space, right? and other applications to be installed on the c drive whereas um i will be putting my data and other stuff on d drive or any other partitions that i may want to create subsequent subsequently sorry so this is the importance of uh, partitioning your hard disk okay so i think i should have shared i should have said how to partition your hard disk and not necessarily how to partition your c drive let's put it that way so it's very very simple and this method is actually going to work regardless of whichever version of windows that you are using in my case i'm using windows 11 but whether you are using windows uh, 7 8 10 or 11 it's going to work for you so without much ado let me show you how to partition your hard disk or your i mean your c drive or your d drive or your whatever drive that you want to partition follow the same steps and it should work for you all right so it's important to go first of all to your disk management there are two major ways of going to your disk management the first method has to do with you going to the windows explorer so just click on the windows explorer and then you click on um, right click on this pc and then you click on uh, manage so come and click on manage okay and then underneath storage you have disk management so if i should click on disk management i will be able to now do my partitioning now right after the partition i also show you how you can actually delete your partitions in case you are not happy with the partitions that you've done and then you want to delete some partition and then regain the space i also show you how to do that just that it, you have to back up your data in other words if you have a free drive like a pen drive or something or an, an external hard disk or even a hard disk whatever you can just take off your data or you can if you have a backup system like your dropbox or whatever cloud system you can just back up your data before uh regaining the space just to make sure you don't lose your data but for the moment let's concentrate on how we can first of all um, partition a drive in this case the c drive okay so but let me show you the other method of coming to your disk management so this is the first method let me close this the second method is very simple come to your search menu here and then simply type partition. Sorry, partition. So you realize that once I started typing partition, we, I mean, we have this popping up create and format hard disk partitions. So if you should click on create and format hard disk partitions, it also take you to your disk management straight away. So I've shown you two methods. Now, once I'm here, 
like I told you, um, I only have one driver, which is my C drive. Okay, I'm using Acer PC, so it's written here Acer. But the total space is actually one terabyte. Okay, approximately, right? So this is a whole lot of space. Now, assuming I want to, let's say, um, partition this drive into let's say I want to create a D drive and that D drive should take like um, since it's one terabyte that D drive should take like 800 uh, let's say 800 GB okay so I want to create a D drive that would take like 800 GB and the rest of the space will now be reserved for my windows and my applications that is the C drive so I want to take like 800 out of the C drive which is 1 tera so I'll be left with roughly 200 as you can see you know it's not actually 1 terabyte but that's the capacity this is the real capacity you know so I'm just so this I'm just speaking approximate approximately okay so how do we take off 800 GB for instance from this C drive to do that, all that we have to do is to click, just left click on the C drive to select it, and then right click on it, and select shrink volume. This will take some time, so please be patient. Just a, little, some, a few seconds, and then a dialog box will, will pop up. Okay. Now, once this dialog bo box shows up, basically it's indicating over here you have the total size of uh, that's total size before shrinking. So approximately, approximately, sorry, this is like um, you know, this is like um. This like approximately this like uh, one million right so this like one million megabytes which is uh thousand gb in other words one terabyte okay so this is the available space okay and this is the amount of uh, space to shrink in megabytes okay so all that we have to do is to edit the amount of space that I want to shrink in megabytes. So if I'm saying I want, let's say, a total space of about 800 GB for my D drive. So if I want 800 GB, meaning I have to enter, um, so let's say 800 GB, right? 800 GB in megabytes that would be 800,000 okay so that would be 800,000 I want to shrink a volume of 800,000 which is like 800 GB 800,000 megabytes which is like 800 GB from my C drive then I just go ahead and hit shrink Again, this would take some time. Okay. So, as you can see, it's telling me. Um, oh my, okay. So, as you can see, we have what. And, and after I did that, we now have an, an unallocated space of about 800 GB, as I said. Usually, if you ch if you choose to um, shrink 800, it will not give you exactly 800, but it will give you an approximate capa uh, storage capacity. So this, uh, I mean, it has taken up 20. So this most 800, right? And now, how do we? Um, so this an un unallocated space, and then we have to now what uh, create our drive with this unallocated space, right? So we have roughly 200 left for my C as in my C drive, and then I have this unallocated space of roughly 800 GB. So I'm going to right click on this, select it first of all, right click on it, 
and then click on new simple volume so and then you click on next and then you click on next like i said you see that it's indicated here 800,000 which is like megabytes which is 800 gb so you click on next again and then over here you have to you have the choice to assign a a drive letter to your to i mean your new partition or your new volume or your new drive that you are creating so since i only have c drive by default it has given me d and that makes sense because i don't have uh, i only have c so the next will be d and then um, you just click on next okay when you click on next they'll ask you for um a name a label for your new volume okay so by default it will put new volume i don't want this okay so i would name it data because the this d drive is for all the data that i'll be having my pictures my music my whatever you know all my data files so i would name i prefer naming it data you could put your name put whichever name you want okay as label and then you click on next and then you simply click on finish perfect now um it's asking me to back up and blah blah we just say not now okay so you would notice that my d drive has been created and if i should come back to my windows explorer again and come and click on this pc you would notice that we now have what two drives created now let me show you what you can do in case you are not satisfied with the amount of space that you shrink from your c drive okay for instance if you feel like the d drive of 800 gb capacity is too much for you and you want to delete it and then so that you 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 extend the c drive again to take back the initial i mean the the, the its initial cap, uh, storage capacity or volume you could do that very simply and then after which you can re re partition it to whatever um cap storage capacities of that you want so how do we delete this driver the d the d drive that we've created how do we delete it if we feel like we are not satisfied it's very simple as always come back to your disk management so to go to your disk management remember i showed you two methods let's in order not to waste time just come to the search box or the search bar and then come and type partition partition sorry and then you would see create and format hard disk partitions so you click on that and then after which your d drive is here and now you want to delete it so just right click select it first of all to select it right click on it and then click on delete volume now go ahead and hit yes once you delete volume it means you see that now we have what an uh, an unallocated uh, storage capacity of about 800 gb but that doesn't mean i mean you've taken back your the storage capacity it remains unallocated so it's now up to you to come back to the C drive and extend it so that it will take it will take up the unallocated space. So you come and click on the C drive, right click on it, and then click on extend volume. So you click on next, next, and finish. And now your C drive has taken back the space. 
if I should close this and come back to my Windows Explorer, come and click on this PC, you'll notice that I currently have, I've taken back my C drive. And I can partition my C drive as much as I want. If I had wanted to partition even the D drive after creating it, I could have done that by applying the same method. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye.